Look who's back playing with my makeup. Hmm? 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 So this is Biscuit, my baby. He loves to play with my makeup. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sahar and today is going to be a Favorites and Fails for the month of January. The name Favorites and Fails, I didn't create it, so if somebody else created it, I'm so sorry. I know a bunch of you YouTubers do use this term. I will try to figure out a more unique name for myself for my videos for my channel. So I have a bunch of items here that are not like only makeup items. There are also a few nail polishes and you know what, let's just get into it. I recently watched a video from Tati. She talked about this a lot and these are the H&M lip polishes. What? No! Nail polishes. I picked up a bunch. I picked up more than this because um, they were on sale. Buy three at half off and then get one. That's an amazing sale. This is the only color I did not get on sale but I just really really like it. This is a very cheesy color. I wore this once um, to a sleepover and then they were like telling me that this looks like I have cheese on my fingernails. It doesn't like cheese, right? So I'm wearing Prussian wool right now. So that's, what on, that I, that's what's on my nails right now. And I really, really like it. It's very easy to apply. Two coats is great. Some of these colors like have one coat opacity and they last a pretty long time. And they dry pretty quickly. And I really like the colors and they're a great sale. So I love them. Next is skincare. This is my favorite makeup remover ever. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off makeup remover and I love it. It's the kind of makeup remover that you have to like shake because there's like two layers and you have to shake to make it one layer and then that's what you use to remove your makeup. I love this. I just got this recently and that's why it's full but I already finished up my bigger bottle and I just really really like this. I have not found a makeup remover um, liquid that works better than this yet. Last in skincare is this. I got this travel size. I just wanted to try it because the biggest size is really really expensive. This is the TLC from Blue School Alcoholic Light Serum and this is the 5 ml, 5 ml version and oh my gosh. I love it. I love this so much. I definitely feel like my skin misses this now that I've, I've gone through it. Next, makeup. Okay, so I have oily type or combo type skin and I do um, oil up around the T-zone a lot and I have some acne scarring so I'm looking for a foundation that will last a long time and give me full coverage. This is definitely full coverage although I don't find that it lasts like really 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 long on me without like the appearance of oil but it does look like skin and I'm talking about the Super Stay, Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour full coverage foundation. It is definitely not 24 hours and it definitely is full coverage and it does look like skin, especially when you first put it on and then when you like go about your day for a few hours, it does still look like skin. Even if you start to oil up, the oils peek through but it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look um, like, it doesn't break through your lip of the day and I really really like this foundation. I'm not the color 120 Classic Ivory. I think I have to step up a little and get like a warmer version of this, maybe 125 if they have it. Because um, I am a little bit lighter than the 128 so I'm always in between. I could never find my exact foundation shade. I pair it with this. This is the Pro Conceal, LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in green because this comes off as pink on my skin. And I know that when you're going to cancel out like redness, you use a green concealer. So I did try it, and oh my gosh, I'm almost at. I never. I haven't used this for like one year, and then ever since I tried it, ever since I, it's like a match made in heaven for me. I love these two to, like, together. Um, until I can find my shade, I'm gonna be using these both together. Next is two eyeshadows and these are the ColourPop Jelly Much eyeshadows and I love these. These are amazing. Except uh, they are very water mm, soluble. They, they, they dissolve. You can easily remove this with water so I'm pretty sure if you wear this and it starts to rain and you don't have an umbrella, you're gonna have this all over your face. That's the only issue I have with these but these are amazing. These are like one swipe pigmentation. They dry down really quickly, but you can still blend them out. I have three shades, but I, I, I prefer these two shades more 
Um, this is in the color Short Circuit and this is the color Fox, Fo Foxes. So it's a beautiful, beautiful gold and it's like a beautiful, beautiful copper. I love these so much. I definitely, definitely want to pick some more up. And I kind of wish they come, came up with more shades because these are definitely better than Supernova shadows, which I really do not like. Next is an eyeshadow palette that I mentioned in... I don't know if I... Yeah, I mentioned this in one of my like holy grail top five palettes that I should... that I'll, I'll always own. And this is the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. I love this palette so much. This is like my everyday go-to palette if I don't go to work every day. Like every time I need to go somewhere, I always take this palette along with me. And if ever I have to like go on a Saturday out or whatever, I take this palette with me. This is an amazing palette. It has everything I want. I love this so much. I love this palette so much. Another palette that I, I got this last year, but I never really used it. Um, but I started using it again, and I just really, really like this. This is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes, and I, I wanted the pe just, I wanted the peach palette. What's that peach palette? I just really wanted the palette for a really long time, but I couldn't get it. It's never on sale, and I finally got this on sale, and I really like it. it has a beautiful mirror, and um, I love the shades. Now for mascara, this is just my all-time favorite mascara. I like. Nothing has beaten this mascara yet. Nothing. Not even the, uh, was that the Roller Lash of Benefit? I know people really love that mascara. That I have that in the trial version. This still is the one. Like, I went to the gym with this. I went um, swimming with this. I went to the beach with this. I went to the pool with this. And I'm not only, I just like, I didn't just like go there. I actually swam in the pool. I swam in the beach. And it did not budge and I went to the gym with this okay I, I wore this to the gym I did some workouts and it did not budge this is how much I love this mascara I just I cannot live without this this is amazing definitely gonna pick up another one if this expires or if this is a little bit like a little bit little less I just I really like this it doesn't clump as much it doesn't flake it doesn't smudge I love this this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, by the way, if you don't already know. The Mist. Uh, everybody's been talking about this. This is a beautiful mist. Morphe is, Morphe is very, very wise. Um, not really wise, but they're very smart. Because they made it into a spray form, wherein the mist is like really super fine. And, oh my gosh, not other... Name one company that does the same kind of sprayer, like none none that I know of, but this is an amazing product. It doesn't necessarily make my makeup last all day, but this this does like melt my makeup in a way where it looks more like skin, especially when I have like dry patches, and it just feels so good to spray because it's really, really nice and fine. The mist is, is extraordinary, and yes, I love this so much. We're down to the last three items, and these are all lip products. My first lip product is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. This is in the color Amazonia, and I also really like the color Seductress, which I don't actually have right now because it's with my mother because she also really likes that color. That's my favorite color. This is also another favorite of mine. This is just an amazing formula. I love this formula. I love this color. It just lasts all day. It lasts through eating pizza, it lasts through eating burgers, and it does fade a little, especially in the inner corner of your mouth, but it lasts amazing, and it's so hard to remove, and it's not drying, it's not like super matte, but it's not like super shiny, I just, I think it's like a satin, I do have a swatch video coming up, or if I already posted it, I'll be linking that down below or up here, and yeah, I really like this, and I have like eight shades. I really also love the H&M lipsticks. This is in Willie's and Tweed. I do have a video of the swatches of these um, and I'll be linking it down below or I'll be putting it up here. I really like these lipsticks. They are a classic bullet lipstick. They are creamy, they are beautiful, the package is really nice and sleek and I really really like this. This is my favorite color from all the, the four I got. The Willie's and Tweed is my favorite color. I have a swatch video which I already mentioned by the way. And yeah, I really like this because it's a classic um, creamy lipstick. It's opaque. It's I really like the color selection, and it doesn't feel drying at all. And yeah, it's just it's a surprise because this is from H&M, and you know you don't really expect much from 
by H&M, Forever 21. You don't really expect much from their makeup lines, but this is really good, and I really like it. Last but not least is the ColourPop Lux Lippy in What's Your Sign. This is a this is a Kathleen Lights collab. I think this is her Zodiac collab. This color is just an amazing color, and I love how there's little stars the sides. I really need to pick more of these up, more colors. I love this is like a peachy color, and um, I really want to try more nudie colors from their line because this is an amazing lipstick, and I can't wait to try their matte lipsticks. So those were all my favorites. Um, they were kind of a lot. But anyway, let's get to the few fails for this month or for the 2018 year. And I have them right here. First is, I have like four of these. First is the Simple Kind of Skin Moisturizing Facial Wash. This broke me out. I don't know why, but whenever I use this, it, it does remove makeup really nicely, but it breaks me out. I just, I just had to stop using it. I gave it to my mom instead because she has she has no acne whatsoever. And I don't I don't know why because it is for sensitive skin, and I don't even have sensitive sensitive skin, so I don't know why this broke me out. But that's enough unfortunate because I'm afraid to try their simple products because this broke me out. So yeah, I'm just scared now. So next is the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder in Translucent. The only reason why I don't like it is because I did not expect it to have shimmer. This is like a shimmery powder, so you can use this as a highlight. It's got lots of shimmer. I know that they're trying to go for like the glowy type, and I guess that's nice, but glowy setting powders for my skin accentuates all my pores. I don't like like this kind of glowy. It's a beautiful glow, but I just I don't think it's a great overall face setting powder. And they do have a matte one, which I really want to try, because this does seem like a good powder. It's just, I don't like how it's so super infused with glitter. Next is the H&M. One of the H&M polishes that I don't like, they're very sheer. The color Ice Cold Milk. I don't like this as much, because this is like super sheer. You can't even build it up. I don't know why. The other colors are great. This shade in particular, I'm kind of regretting. I, I kind of regret buying, because you can't build it up. It's super sheer. I, go, I don't know, maybe that's what they were going for, but I don't like this very much because I really want an opaque ice cold milk. I love the name ice cold milk and I could really use ice cold milk right now. But. Uh, mm. ah! Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, and the last fail was one of the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Inks. This is the color Believer, and I do have a swatch video, and you will see there that it's very patchy super hard to build up, super hard to make smooth and unpatchy. I don't know why, I like this color, it's just it's really patchy on me and I guess I'm going to be passing on this on to somebody else who might be able to make it work for them. But yeah, it's unfortunate because it's a pretty color but it's really patchy and uh, yeah. But all the other colors I really like and I really want to get more. I know, excessive, I know. So that is it for my favorite and fails for the month of January. You know what, I think this is a more of a favorite and fails for the month of 2018, for the whole of 2018. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you, maybe you, if you like some things that I mentioned or dislike some things that I mentioned and like some things that I did not like, please comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'd love to hear some suggestions for this 2019 journey that we have going on. And yeah, I'm so excited to see you in my next video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, like that like button. Hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh my gosh, I am really the worst at this. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click that like button if you did and hit that notification bell to be informed when I upload. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!